Hey again everyone. Today I want to talk about a project that I stumbled across a couple months ago and find myself using with increasing frequency. The standalone Whisper XXL project by Perfue over on GitHub. I've talked about OpenAI's Whisper speech-to-text model before, and while it may not be as influential to pop culture as ChatGPT has become, Whisper has been so effective at transcription and translation that it has replaced human workers in a lot of areas. And many services today masquerading as human transcription and translation are really an operator just feeding audio into an OpenAI Whisper model. The speed, language coverage, and word error rate for Whisper and some of the distilled models seems to be better than most other projects for many use cases. But feel free to advocate for your favorite model in the comments because it helps for the search algorithm exposure. The base Whisper project from OpenAI can probably be installed by most users with moderate technical skill, and I think that allows you to use the turbo variant of Whisper Large for a little speed boost. However, the speedier forks of Whisper like Faster Whisper, which have the distilled Whisper models, and things like voice activity detection models and support for speaker diarization can quickly become a dependency hell that may interfere with other aspects of your projects. This standalone Whisper project resolves all the dependency problems you may run into with Whisper. And they also offer a standalone package with Faster Whisper, which I'll be focusing on for the remainder of the video. A package called Faster Whisper XXL, which includes support for the MDX23 speaker separation model, several speaker diarization models, and voice activity detection models. My specific use case for this is creating diarized podcast subtitle transcripts, and it's done a pretty good job of it overall. I've been using the Reverb V2 diarization model and running on CUDA using an NVIDIA RTX 3060 GPU. This seems to be able to process a four and a half hour file in under 20 minutes. While support for the speaker separation model is nice, I find that the results can be a little hit or miss. If your audio doesn't have a really steady noise or background music, I find it's best not to use the vocal separation model. The VAD model seems to help with subtitle accuracy, so I've just stuck with the author's recommendation of Pyanote V3. If you want to go fully offline with your install, you can pre-download any of the models you need from the author's Hugging Face page. The package gives you access to the full range of Whisper models, but some of Whisper's generation parameters are ignored when using the distilled models. This doesn't matter most of the time, but I wanted to mention it here. Because if you're trying to transcribe subtitles that really capture how a person is speaking, you will probably need to adjust the whisper parameters a little because the normal transcription output is a little too clean. Whisper has a few knobs that can be twisted, so I set the following. Beam size and best of between 3 and 5. These determine how many guesses the model takes at the next tokens. I notice worse accuracy and huge time increases when I go above 5. The temperature I set at 0 or close to 0. The compression ratio threshold I set at 2.4. And the log prob threshold is negative 1. And I set condition on previous text to true. And I also set suppress tokens to minus 1. This ensures that the ums, uhs, and other filler words are not removed from the transcript. I also set the word timestamps to true. This ensures that you get a timestamp for every word, including the filler words, which seems to help with the timing a little bit. I also prepend and append a set of punctuation characters. This theoretically helps Whisper handle punctuation better, telling it to add the appropriate punctuation in the sentence where it's needed. I find that doing this lets the model punctuate the end of sentences a little bit better and adds commas after filler words. Whisper also supports prompts when using the normal models. These are hit and miss and you'll really need to experiment with something that works well for your situation. It's a little hard to find information on this, but OpenAI does have some information on whisper prompting guidelines, which I've linked below. As they note, the whisper transcript output tends to follow the style of the prompt. So I find that I get reasonable results using a prompt something like, hello, uh, welcome to the show. It's go, uh, it's gonna be a great one. Prompts are limited to 224 tokens, and using them with Whisper amounts to voodoo. The faster Whisper XXL executable can be used like every other console application within Windows, and it does have a batch file that you can drop a file onto to transcribe it. But it should be noted that the file probably has to be in the same directory as the faster Whisper XXL executable, and the file name should have no spaces. 
It's probably best to just use the command line interface or write your own batch shell or Python script that calls faster whisper XXL. This is an actively developed project, and if you find it useful, the author is currently fundraising to add some new features like GUI and support for other voice separation models. So if you feel inclined, throw them some support. That's about all I wanted to go over today. Just uh, talking a little about a really handy project that takes a lot of difficulty out of getting speaker diarization working, and share a few of the settings that I found helpful in getting the results that I've been looking for. Let me know in the comments if you have any whisper prompt or punctuation tricks. I may follow this up with a video on what I've been using the transcripts for, which is training an AI agent using a lower model. But I'll see if anyone finds these kind of videos useful first. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.